What's up everyone and welcome back to Movie Race. In today's video, we're going to take a look at the tragic backstory behind the Jones family. Right now, the Jones family is a well-respected family in Riverdale. And F.P. Jones, short for Forsyth Pendleton Jones, and his son Jughead Jones are both living good lives. However, it hasn't always been like that. We don't know much about F.P. Jones' father, but we do know that he was very abusive towards F.P. when he was young. He was an alcoholic, and because he valued drinking over everything else, he couldn't keep a job, and he only saw his son F.P. as a problem. In Season 3, Episode 4, we got a flashback from the Midnight Club, and in the episode, Alice Cooper was asked to share her deepest secret. When she didn't give an answer, F.P. told her to tell them about the time she put a dumpster on fire. Alice wasn't happy about F.P. speaking up about that, and therefore she fired back with, why don't you tell everyone you actually live in the Sunnyside trailer park? Looks like you're done downing six packs in your double wide. Maybe. I'm not gonna hit my kid. Everyone is shocked by this statement because FP has always claimed to live on Elm Street because he was embarrassed by his South Side roots. FP is clearly upset, but he doesn't say anything to defend himself against Alice's allegations. Alice continues to say, you're going to end up just like your father, downing six-packs in your double wide. FP breaks the silence and responds with, Maybe, but I'm not going to hit my kid, not like my old man hits me. After a few seconds of silence, he continued and said, I told him I didn't want to join his gang. Instead, I wanted to be the first Jones to go to college. He ends the story by saying that his father didn't like that. And then he shows up, his broken arm. It looks like FP is relieved to get this off his chest. And when we get a short glimpse of Alice, she looks so embarrassed and guilty for calling him out in the first place, not knowing how bad the situation with FP's dad was. During his time dating Alice Cooper, FP Jones got her pregnant, but Alice knew about it and she gave their baby away for adoption. After FP and Alice split up, they both found another partner, with Alice finding Hal Cooper and FP finding Gladys Jones. Alice Cooper, together with her husband Hal, had two children, Polly and Betty Cooper. F.P. and Gladys also had two children, Jughead and Jellybean. Their relationship worked out all right in the beginning, and F.P. got a job at Fred Andrews Construction Company. Unfortunately, things didn't work out between F.P. and Gladys, and after one of their fights, Gladys decided to take Jellybean and move out of town. F.P. Jones did eventually join the Serpents, the very gang he told his father many years ago he didn't want to be a part of. He started drinking heavily, just like his dad once did, and because he drank so much and didn't show up in time, he eventually also lost his job at Andrew's Constructions. Losing his job, drinking, and joining the Serpents wasn't good for F.P. Jones, because he still had to take care of Jughead. He had become just like his own father. There was just one major difference in their parenting methods. F.P. never once hit Jughead, because he had promised himself to never become as cruel as his old man was to him. Jughead eventually moved from home because he didn't want to live with his dad anymore. He lived in a small wooden house, which the town only used when watching movies outside. When they got that house removed, he moved to a closet in the school for a while. He didn't live in the school for, he didn't live in the school for long until Fred Andrews' son Archie Andrews noticed and welcomed Jughead to live with them for a while. Jughead and Archie used to be good friends when they were kids, and now they started to reconnect again. Archie introduced Jughead to Betty Cooper and the new girl Veronica Lodge. They all became good friends, and after Betty got over her crush for Archie, she started dating Jughead. To this day, Bughead is the strongest relationship in all of Riverdale, because there is literally nothing that can break their relationship. Jughead's life finally started to turn around to the better, but when he moved to the Southside school, he decided to join his father's gang, the Serpents. He could have ended up just like his father, but he always had his friends keeping him from doing things that would cause him too much trouble. Even though he had his friends on his side, he did get into trouble numerous times with, for example, Penny Peabody and the Serpent's number one enemy, the Ghoulies. After going through a lot, F.P. Jones started to get his things together and realized that he had become just like his old man, and that was something he didn't want at all. He managed to get back his job at Andrews Constructions, and just a few months later, he became the sheriff in Riverdale. 
The whole Jones family even moved back together for a while, but that didn't last for long, since Junk had found out that his mother was trying to start a drug business in Riverdale. For season four, FP and Alice Cooper will be reunited with their long-lost son, Charles. And this also means that Betty and Jughead share a half-brother. But don't worry, Betty and Jughead are still not related by blood, so it won't get in the way of their relationship. According to rumors, Alice Cooper and FP Jones will also bring up their relationship again, which could be good for both of them. The Jones family is now a successful family, respected by everyone in Riverdale, and they are very happy together. With that said, if you liked the video, make sure to subscribe and leave a like. Also, don't forget to comment if you think Alice Cooper and F.P. Jones is going to start dating again.